Here we have an 850D hot air gun. And when I turn it on, I get a, initially, a 410 reading. It's in standby. Take it off the carrier. And the fan starts. It goes into an S or 5E. Fails to heat up and then goes into the failure mode. I'm assuming that it may be a bad heating element. This is the magnetic switch that causes the heating element to turn off and on. What well, appears the red and black wires are the heating element wires. There's a the ground wire here that's yellow and green. Then down in here I have a very thin pair of blue and red wires. See them back there? Those are apparently the thermostat wires. This is a package from probably China. Uh, you can make out some what appear to be Chinese characters here and some instructions but they've been covered up by this blue label. It's not a address label but it does have my zip code on it. So here we got one of these What I got was a heating element for the wand. I'm certain this plastic was not intended to be installed. I believe this is probably uh, heat resistant paper. Here we have a ceramic, appears to be ceramic. These two natural colored wires disappear into the center of the ceramic form and appear here as a thermocouple, which means these must be polarity sensitive. And here we have this three-hole ceramic tube with a red and blue wire coming out of it. 
that these red and blue wires are actually thermocouple wires. Here we have a much more elaborate ceramic form. We have the same paper. I guess it's time to get medieval on it. And something's happened up there at the hot end of the, of the element. That's a mess. And here we have a heating. Here we have a heating element broken from here. This bead is actually a thermocouple. I put a meter on with the red lead of the meter on the red wire, the black lead from the meter on the blue wire. I put my soldering iron against this tip. With the meter set to millivolts, I come up with about two tenths millivolts. If I reversed it, of course, it had the same reading, but different polarity. Because these wires are not uh, color coded, I did the same thing to the bead at the end of this and I determined and marked this as being the black wire. Now I don't know if I should carry these back to the board or not. The power wires I'm just going to crimp. There's no polarity to them that I can see. So that takes care of the power wires. Now I'm going to treat the thermocouple wires the same way. I am going to twist these wires together, however. All four wires Crimped. I'm going to obscure the airway a little bit here. Put this tie wrap on to temporarily hold everything in place. power it on and it's heating up just fine oh yeah maybe I have to increase the airflow to overcome the obstructions I put in there
And if I put it back in here, some smoke coming out. If I put it back in here, I don't want to melt anything on my desk, but you can see the temperature's going way down. So it's down around two. One ninety three. And it should shut off. The fan it is should shut off pretty soon. And there the fan shuts off. At this point I feel okay to turn the power off. So we've successfully repaired the heat gun.